Introducing, drum roll please, drum, the Canon EOS R50. This is the spiritual successor to the M50 Mark II, and there have been a bunch of improvements, starting with the sensor and processor. The M50 features a 24.2 megapixels APS-C CMOS sensor based on Canon's newest sensor design that's also used in the R10. It also has a Digic X processor, so it's way smarter than the M50 Mark II. And because of this, it's gonna take full advantage of the new and improved auto features. The R50 joins the R series with the addition of an RF mount and will be available in a kit with the RF 18-45 f 4.5 to 6.3 ISSTM lens. The EOS R50 is the lightest, smallest, and most affordable Canon EOS R to date. So this will surely make it many people's go-to travel camera as it takes up so little space in a bag and will not weigh you down. The EOS R50 is going to be a solid starter camera and will be a big upgrade from any smartphone for both photo and video. It has a lot of features you'd expect and some you wouldn't from a current mirrorless camera in its price range. Here are some of the feature highlights. It has dual pixel, CMOS AF2, which can cover up to 100% horizontal and vertical of the sensor area with up to 651 zones. It has continuous shooting speed up to 12 FPS in electronic first curtain mode and up to 15 FPS in electronic shutter mode. It also has human eye, face, and head tracking in addition to animal and vehicle tracking, although uh, the vehicle tracking is more based around motorsports vehicles. When shooting multiple subjects, either human or animal, you can switch between subjects by tapping the LCD. Another feature to talk about is the ISO ranges of both photo and video, photo being 100 to 32,000, and video being 100 to 12,800, both of which are expandable to these ranges. Uncropped 4K oversampled from 6K up to 30p, full HD up to 60p with a high frame rate option to shoot at 120p. The recording limit in 4K is one hour. I love that this camera breaks the 29 minute 59 second rule. However, recording times can vary due to heat. So these are the official run times that you can expect. In high frame rates, the recording limit is 15 minutes. Not sure why you'd need that long in of a 120p shot, but there you go, you can do it. Since this camera is marketed towards uh, beginners and people who do a lot of self-taping, there is a really cool feature called movie close-up mode. This feature allows the camera to understand that it's going to have things brought up really close to it really often. So let's see some of those features in action. I had about three hours to shoot with the camera and it's the middle of winter, so Let's uh, let's head over to the marketplace and take a few shots there, see what we can get. This sequence was not graded or corrected in any way. Photo and video do look good out of camera, and when you do need to retouch, they have a good amount of latitude considering the camera doesn't have a huge dynamic range to take advantage of. For people upgrading from a phone as a camera, these features will be somewhat familiar. These were taken with the new auto modes, Creative Bracketing and Advanced Plus. Creative Bracketing takes four images at the same time and varies the color and brightness between each, and then saves them for you to choose between later. Advanced A Plus is a mix of several types of photography. In this mode, the camera can detect high contrast scenes like a portrait near a window or night photography and accurately balance the images. It can also do its own version of focus stacking. From my perspective, Advanced A Plus is its own version version of auto HDR and autofocus stacking combined into one. Another feature in the auto mode is the good old panorama. You can shoot up to five photos per second. So as you sweep across your landscape, you know you're gonna be getting a ton of photos to then stitch together later. The rolling shutter also isn't too crazy, which is a huge up. This will help a lot for handheld, especially when vlogging. The R50 doesn't have any in-body image stabilization, but it does have some digital stabilization options. And fear not, many RF and RFS lenses come with optical stabilization. Movie IS mode allows you to correct shake when shooting vlogs handheld. This is one of those digital stabilization options. In this mode, you can have the camera also auto level the shot and allow you to dial in the amount of stabilization that you want. So if you're doing a handheld shot where you know, you're know you focusing it towards yourself, you can punch out a little bit more, reduce the amount of cropping that's gonna happen on the sensor. Hybrid auto is a feature that does exist on other cameras, including some of the older Canon 
and PowerShot cameras, every time you take a photo, the camera will also snap a two to four second video clip, and then it will edit those together into a highlight reel for you. This could save a ton of time for beginner vloggers, or people showing vacations to family and friends, or video enthusiasts who just don't want to or can't edit. The touchscreen makes it very accessible to those not wanting to mess with buttons. Even though it's aimed at a more entry-level photo video enthusiast, that doesn't mean that it's lacking features that will allow you to grow into more advanced techniques. For instance, uh, the R50 has an aspect ratio marker feature, which ha you can do all these different um, aspect ratios, and it also has a digital teleconverter, which can do either two or four times uh, punch in on the sensor, so if you really need to get that much closer, you can. The R50 can also perform a focus breathing correction with the, cor with the right lenses, and that's going to be great for a lot of people, because uh, as you know, when shooting video, there is a slight frame size change whenever you change your focus point. It'll either slightly grow or slightly shrink. Uh, that's just a product of using photography lenses for video. Cinema lenses don't do this and that's why they cost so much more. The R50 can easily be turned into a webcam via USB-C. Just plug one into the camera and plug it into the computer and boom, you're ready to go. The R50 is now a very capable webcam and will be recognized as such by video chat and live streaming services. This method automatically gives a clean output, meaning no menus or none of the you know control information that you would generally see while shooting with the camera gets output via USB-C. The fact that it is an APS-C size sensor with changeable lenses means you are going to get a much better look versus a webcam that doesn't have an interchangeable lens. Just the amount that you can separate from subject, you, to the background, wherever you are, it's gonna make you seem more professional in your live streaming or your video chatting. The R50 can connect via USB-C and live stream up to 30 FPS in full HD, and it can do so very easily because it supports UVC and UAC standards. And if you don't know what that is, there's a link in the description that will describe what those things are. Photos come in at a respectable 24.2 megapixels on the APS-C 1.6 times crop sensor, and the Digic X processor really helps in darker scenes. Canon's video and photo color science is very dependable for presenting human skin naturally in a lot of situations. So, as someone who uses cameras typically in the professional market, I could actually still see myself enjoying owning this camera and using it for the following reasons. For the first, it's extremely light, perfect for travel and location scouting. Because generally, if I'm walking around just trying to enjoy taking photos, having a full-size professional camera isn't what I want. I just want an easy shooting experience without a ton of frill and not being weighed down while doing so. That's the thing that I loved so much about Canon SLRs and smaller cameras in general. Because of its size, it's less intimidating to people and animals that you would like to photograph. It also won't draw as much attention as a full-sized R5 build or other full-frame cameras. So doing certain kinds of photography like pet photos or street photography, in my opinion, can be done a lot easier. Remember, you want to use equipment that is going to not get in the way of what you're trying to take photos of or take videos of. Another major point is that it's more affordable than its R-Series brothers. You could buy four of these kits for the price of one R5 body. So, for example, if you wanted to do multicam live streaming, the R50 is going to make a lot more sense. In general, like I've, this has been a main point I've been trying to make, the camera is just incredibly stress-free to use. Canon menus for a beginner are going to be by far the easiest menu systems to understand. Not sure why Canon is so much better at designing menus, but theirs are fantastic. So there you go. For I know for me, whenever I'm looking at, I, and I look at a lot of different camera menus, it's always easy to pick up what Canon uh, designs in their camera menus. It just makes sense. The R50 can also be scaled up for use with a variety of lenses. The RF mount is quickly being adopted as a standard just like the EF mount was. And on that, you can also use all your EF lenses with the RF to EF adapter. So if you are a person who has been long invested in the Canon EOS DSLR world, you can bring all those legacy lenses to this platform and you'll feel just as home as you were with those with this. A couple final little notes to touch on is that, you know, because it uses similar color science to the rest of Canon's lineup, it's going to potentially be a decent B camera. So that's something to consider as well. And finally, because of its lightweight, once again, this camera could be very useful as a gimbal cam, an in-car camera, helmet cam, or even used as a top-down video photo or 
drone camera. It's kind of crazy. It's a lot of power packed into a very small package. So there you have it. There's the Canon R50. A great all-round enthusiast photo video camera. For more information, head to viztech.ca. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.